Hey guys, so I have more pre-release kits. We will be doing like a nine pack giveaway. We already did five packs and we'll do nine more. And these are already ones that the packs are going to come from. The pre-release kits are the best deal right now. The reason that they are the best deal, a pre-release kit at my locals is $20. A fat pack at my locals is $40. So you can get two pre-release kits for the price of a fat pack. Now you might ask yourself, hmm, you know, what is the actual uh, ratio of packs, right? A pre-release kit has six packs, but you also get the chance to get a foil promo card. And these foil planeswalkers are actually worth more than, sometimes they, like Chandra, I was looking up Chandra, are worth more than the, the non-foil ones. I feel like they are less common and people who collect this type of stuff actually enjoy having a pre-release, especially if it's the one that they went to and they pulled themselves at pre-release. So th those are not gonna hit the market as readily as regular foils. That being said, let's talk about, we're gonna go ahead and open all of them here. And $20 gives you six packs in a dice, as well as a pre-release. So let's say seven packs, because the actual pre-release kit, if you told me I could just get those, uh, the pre-release pack, I would actually just take pre-release packs over booster packs. I feel there's more value in them and you can get good cards. I mean, you can get pile driver, you can get the planeswalkers. It's all very good value. Now, that being said, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about how you go about getting these kits. So if you get two of these kits for $40, most game stores have a ton of kits. I know this because multiple game stores in Houston have boxes upon boxes of this stuff. And the reason they have it is pre-release Magic Origins, not many people showed up. Let's just be very honest. It is a summer core set. And our pre-release normally has about 60 to 80 people. It had 25 people. So the store owners who are used to getting a ton of boxes like this have them on hand and 20 bucks for a box like this it's very good compared to a fat pack you get 12 packs two dice and two pre pre-release packs over a fat pack which is just nine and yeah the fat pack has a box but like 40 dollars anyway we're just going to open see what our packs are oh we have uh rel this card um, is interesting. Let's go ahead and open this one. And then we'll open the packs to uh, give away the packs, right? Uh, Troll is pretty interesting. Gather the pack I like. So overall, a, <laughs> I kind of like that the pack is very fast and you see what the card is in the beginning. Scry 5, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, you draw cards equal to its power and you gain life equal to its toughness. Uh, very, I don't know, it seems a little met to me because it costs 7. If it cost 5, it would be like playable, but not like amazing, right? So Lily, Princess Lily. Now let's see what we get for this one. Okay, we got this guy. Um, yeah, legendary creature. So even if you don't get the best card, you get a foil card. And that does mean that it's easier to trade. So if you told me, hey, you had the choice, and this is a very interesting artwork. This is where Liliana gets her little headdress. It got from this angel, which is the angel of Tiffs. Tiffs? So this card is four double black, legendary creature, demon, flying whenever a permanent is owned by another player, is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card and you gain one life, or you lose one life. Six six flyer for, with upside. So I opened a ton, so I purchased all the red ones because that's where Goblin Pile Driver is. And when you're doing stuff, when you're purchasing packs, you're not after the mythic, you're after... Oh, not, that's not bad. That is not bad. I'll take that one. Oops. So we'll go ahead and open this. Nice. Uh, Pierre and 
Calrissian. Obviously, this is not Chandra. This card is very good. I like it. I like that card as an aggro player. Titan Strength. You know, this is uh, not a bad legendary. Like, two legendaries and then they kind of playable EDH card. They You definitely get much better value from a pack of this because you know you have a foil mythic or I mean the fact that the planeswalkers you can get them in foil or even the dragon lords pre-release kits if you can get them for under $25 again at my local store it's 20 bucks so it's not like it's pretty obvious like it's a good deal so yeah it's a very interesting you know very interesting cards and yeah pre-release kits go ahead if you can get them for 20 that's a fantastic deal you should buy the red one the red one has goblin pile driver I believe that is the most expensive non-mythic in the set. And when you're opening these, you want to look at the non-mythic as well. It's nice that you might get a Planeswalker. But honestly, I've opened a ton of them and I've only got one Planeswalker. So I don't know what the ratio is, but it's probably not that great. Bye guys.